Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 49 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. And I'm up here at the tippity top of the Wizard Tower. <laughs> wanted to call it a Mage Tower, but it's a Wizard Tower, not a Mage Tower. There's a difference. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just wanted you to get a look at this view. Oh, look at it. Isn't it amazing? You can see all the stuff and things, except we can't see all the way over to where all our inns and farms are. Um, but I want to automate those and kind of phase those out or maybe keep them over there and then just not really go do anything with them and just make uh, new automated stuff <laughs> somewhere else. Uh, so the plan. Uh, I have started moving stuff over here. Also, I didn't like the gray of the cobble, so I put um, calcite. <laughs> I replaced it all with calcite. Um, took me a while to uh, go mine it. Luckily, there's a uh, calcite deposit like right below my base um, and I had to well you could get to the calcite deposits from the super secret cave entrance but I kind of filled that in uh, let, let, let me show you where I did it I, I kind of added the travel anchors um, okay over here, uh, there was part of the calcite deposit right here, and I, I mined all of it out, and it was it was pretty big. It went all the way down here, um, and then a block over there was another one. I cleared all of it out, and then a block over and there was another one, and I cleared all it out, and I think there's more. Oh, yeah, here's some more calcite right here, so uh, I, could get, I could get even more, which I will probably do at some point. Uh, so let's go, is this, yeah, this is the exit. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Make that double jump. Uh, so yeah, I did a lot of that mining <laughs> and find enough to like and get enough to replace all that. Got the arcane stone uh, on the top and the little roof there. I want to put some more accents around with that as well. Uh, but that's sort of uh, the things that I was working on. I made the two travel anchors. Um, Hello, Spidey. Okay, I made the two travel acres just so I could get back and forth across the river pretty easily. This is called river crossing. River crossing. Uh, but I've also set up a little star bungle system over here to help me with my essence. Uh, retrieval <laughs> and he's been doing great i made him a little bed so he could like chill out uh while he's not doing nothing um and i planted a bunch of source berries around so he could speed up the process a little unfortunately it only goes to this one and it gets used up as quick as can be um i did try him on allow but I changed my mind and I went with a deny. So, uh, because I can change these into different uh, essence recipes, basically. And I, I don't have to worry about changing what he's uh, picking up. Because all I do is deny him. 
access to source gems, which are what's going in there. If I don't deny him, he'll just pick up all the source essence. But by denying him the source gems, he'll then just pick up whatever the source gem turns into. So it's been going really good. Look, I got uh, 32 fire essence, 32 air. He's working on the earth, water, and manipulation at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's doing good. I still, I still got to get conjuration and abjuration, uh, set up and then that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty okay. Um, he is just doing a fantastic job over here. I did have a problem with, <laughs> he was picking up the light essence and putting it in the chest and I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong, why he wasn't picking it up, and I thought maybe he was limited to the three items on his filter, but it turned out to be just a mistake on my part. I forgot to connect him to this imbuement chamber, uh, so <laughs> I figured that out the hard way. Um, I did have this going into a hopper to sort of drain out the source berries, uh, but it started draining these things out too. I didn't like that. So I've done other things as well. Uh, oh, I I wanted the travel anchors initially, and they were they're working great, but I didn't know this. Arts Nouveau has portals, <laughs> warp portals, that uh, I already have this one set up. I'm waiting on enough mana to create this other portal, and then I can just use these portals to cross the river. Like that one just ported me over here, and I already have the warp scroll set up. Uh, once I get enough mana, I just put the mana nearby and throw the scroll in the portal, and then it will link. It'll basically, this one will teleport me over in front of that one. So it'll be great. It'll be a more magic -y way of getting across the river. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I like that. Um, I was, I figured that out. I saw that in the book while I was looking up stuff on the Starbuncle. Um, so yeah, this tells you uh, that you can make your portals horizontal or vertical uh, from any size, from a 1 by 1 to a 21 by 21. And it doesn't cost any source after you create it, but it does take almost a full jar to create it. Uh, so I kind of have been... Um, keeping this little guy going. I gave him some more source berries to pick uh, just to help with the mana production. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, so he's almost got, he's got 83%. I need to move that mini map, I guess, the way I thought. I thought it was, I just don't want it in the right hand corner because that's where stuff is too. I don't know where to, there's like no corner <laughs> that you could put this thing. But he's, it's up in the upper left hand corner underneath the mini map. It's got a percentage of, if you look at the jar, it tells you how full it is. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, I put another organomic source link over here, and I was like, why isn't it putting any in this jar? And these plants, when they grow, they actually go to this organomic source link. Uh, so I don't know. He's got a really huge range, so we don't really need this guy here because all of these plants are feeding into that one. I wish it would show it <laughs> on camera so you can see it. 
but unfortunately it's not going to do it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, see, he went all the way over there. So I think they have a much bigger range for uh, the absorption, but they can, the source jars have to be like within five blocks, but they have a much larger range for collecting the source. So that, that was interesting to find out. 88%. I'm wondering if that's going to be enough to get that portal going. It's, it wasn't quite, I don't know, it says in the book, uh, I provide a full source jar nearby. So it says a full source jar. So I don't know. But I, uh, I've just been letting that go. I kind of, um, if you look on the map, you can see I, I have these chunks loaded now. I did do that to get the lava to uh, keep our machines going. Keep, keep the lava coming into our dynamos and creating power to run the machines that I want to be running to process all my ore when I go mining. Um, and I did set up a little processing station. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's just like one machine. Uh, well, one one pulverizer and one furnace. Um, I got a chest over here for some flint because I figured why not I got a ton of flint and that might help increase uh, the chance of getting an, an extra I don't know but uh, yeah it can't hurt and I just have tons of flint this is still just finally finishing up all the ore I had in that chest up here and now you can see instead of ore, it's full of more, <laughs> more uh, ingots. So that is really good. I converted uh, nine stacks of copper into blocks. So uh, it looks like I need to do that again because there's so much copper. A little bit of uh, crafting lag on that do like a full stack. Oh, dude, do I don't have really any gold. It is keeping a stack over here, but that's like all I have. I've been using up a little bit making um, more Ars Nouveau stuff, but it hasn't been a whole terrible lot. Uh, so, I wanted to Oh yeah, I can talk about more about what I've done down here. Because in between episodes, I did go ahead and make uh, the second and third magmatic dynamos. So we got three of those. I had to go back to the nether and chunk load our, our pump. Uh, and then come back and chunk load this one. Uh, and I had to force load them <laughs> to keep them loaded and then I made a couple of these flux cells and I upgraded uh, the ones on the end because I want to use these to power uh, the the builder once we get that going um yeah and then I set up this guy I did have a second laser node here, but I changed my mind. I thought it would be a little bit simpler uh, to just put a chest in here and have this chest output and this chest or this this machine output and this machine input from that, and it's been working out. Uh, because I needed I needed a place to put the zinc because the zinc can't be pulverized, so I have to put the zinc directly into this chest uh, by way of the item card here. Uh, so it's pretty simple. 
uh, I have an item card here just with uh, some tag filters of all the different uh, raw materials. And I had to do it this way instead of just the raw materials uh, because it would include the zinc in this chest. So yeah, a lot of adding of those just to keep one out. I guess I could have somehow blocked, uh, blocked the zinc from going in there, but it was, I don't know, it wasn't that hard to set up. And this side just has a, an extraction card. Um, it doesn't really matter the speed because uh, these machines aren't that fast, so it's only going to be getting one at a time mm -hmm. anyway. So it's going to go fast enough. Um, also, I upgraded this uh, card here with four card overclockers. That was a chunk of my gold, too, because uh, those cards take take gold. If we can just uh, learn overclocker. Here it is takes four gold per, so it was like 16 gold to get that done. I did have to make some more of uh, the logic chips, so I did that. Um, I've just been having a blast with uh, this mod pack, it's so cool. Um, and I can put that and that in there. Um, I do want to, I do want to set this up, I think I might put a node here to pull out from both of these chests and just, uh, throw everything back into the system. Like I have one here, an item card, like I could easily put that there, but I don't, know if I don't have anything in it, so this would be the perfect time to do that. Put like a little laser node here. Oh, I'm gonna need a laser wrench to. I think this should be close enough. We'll see. Just uh, boop. and then ah yes, you can see the little laser there. So that's good got him hooked up and we just need like oh wow I will need two cards to tell it to extract extract on this side Oop. right and then extract on that side so now it should I should be able to like Put some cobble in here to let's let's get uh let's get a couple of things of cobble out. That should be plenty. And we can throw the cobble in here. Boop, 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 boop. And then that will grind it up and then it should uh extract all of the stuff and things. Yeah. So that should go over here. Hopefully it goes into the blocks. I don't know if I set this up to get gravel yet. So it might go over here. Yeah, I need to set that up. Take okay, gravel and sand over there. And I may need to upgrade this chest. Item card. Well, do you do have forge gravel? and sand. So now that should come over here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So anything that uh, gets turned into gravel will come over here and then I can just come and empty out the gravel and throw the gravel back over there and make it into sand and then anything that I'm oh a little bit of lag there Whoop. 
And then anything I need smelted, like if I put my sand in here to smelt it into glass, that should also come over here. Uh, so I think I should do uh, another little upgrade for him. Yeah, just so he has plenty of room. And then I might as well do the I want to like upgrade. Probably don't need much of a storage on this guy, but maybe it would be good. Um, so I could just go in and tear the nether up. Oh, another thing I want to work on is setting up a sorting system for the mob trap down there using these laser nodes and maybe some barrels because they do have barrels in here. I mean, drawers, drawers. But just to mass store all the items I'm getting down there and then I need like a trash can too. A trash can. We do have trash cans. Um, and I want to get the absorption hopper installed down there so I can start getting experience orbs from it because uh, that's just all being wasted right now because I don't think, uh, you know, just using the Batania uh, item hopper hop to collect items, so it's not really doing anything with the experience. Um, yeah, so... I also, I, I really want to get a builder going, but I do have, I think, the injunction smelter all ready to go up here. Yeah, to craft. Um, I didn't want to do, I didn't mind making the, the furnace and the pulverizer because I've already made those. Uh, but I, I did also make some hardened uh, components to upgrade my little machines down here. They are upgraded with the hardened. Oh, one more. We do have the hardened upgrade in there. And then I made uh, one for each of these. So that would go for storage. I got, I wanted two so that I could pull one off, uh, put it on my quarry, uh, use it up, and then when I come back, the other one's ready, and replace it, pick the other one up, and have a full battery ready to go. <laughs> At least that's the plan. Um, I also want to get. Uh, an auxiliary processing sieve uh, because I think that helps with the secondary product. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the same as a secondary item. It's not actually a secondary product, but it's a second item of the same type. So I don't know if that counts, but I figure it can't really hurt. Right? Um, and then I would like to increase the processing speed because you can only have one of these hardened integral components for the upgrades um, and then you're capped out at whatever speed you're at. But I can I have three more slots so I can put one process sim in two flux linkage amplifiers Theoretically, I think you could put two of these in there. Um, I don't really know if they might have changed it for 118. I'm not sure, but uh, we got the induction smelter. Also, we need a multi servo press for our thermal expansion stuff because, in order to upgrade our hardened components to uh, enforced. 
Um, I thought we needed leads. Hmm. I thought we needed plates for that. Oh, it was for this. <laughs> the in-bar plates. The plates you can make either with a hammer, an engineer's hammer, or you can use a servo press or a rolling machine from industrial contractions. Looks like that skid, blacksmith, a casting table, you can make a plate mold, immersive engineering, some create stuff. Uh, but I just figure if we can make a multi servo press and that'll be good. Uh, it doesn't take anything. Oh, it takes constant tan. But we do have our. Um, did I grab it? I didn't grab. <laughs> I didn't grab the machine that I wanted. Let's go ahead and grab that guy uh, because it looks like we're going to need some uh, some alloys made. And I sort of uh, scrunched these together to because there was a chest on each side. Each one had its own output chest, so. I kind of put the chest in the middle and made them both output to the same one. Uh, and then I removed it and replaced it with this laser node. But that part you already knew. So ooh, it's making all right. Um, I definitely want to get upgrades for these machines too. Uh, but um yeah, I can do that. I can work on preparing the multi servo press by making some more bronze and constantan, which is made uh, induction, induction smelter. So if we take one copper and one nickel. Oh, we get two constant hand. Oh, that's pretty snazzy. We can do that real quick. Um, I don't know that we'll need a lot, so maybe we'll take, let's see how much nickel we have. We got a good amount of nickel, but I don't want to, let's make 16 nickel and 16 copper work. That should get us 32. Hopefully that'll be enough stuff and things. And this will make making um, Invar and Electrum a lot easier and any other weird alloys that we might need. Like upgrade this, we're going to need Electrum and Signalum. Not sure that the signal can that be? Yeah, okay. Silver, copper, and full redstone. Awesome. That's what I was worried about because I knew I had to do that in the Tinker's Construct Smeltery before uh, because it took like liquid, but they, they made it to where you could do it here too, so that's good. That's really good. Um, so, oh, yes, getting the gravel, that's really good. Um, I kind of want to make some sort of automation that will, uh, I can put down here somewhere out of the way. And use this cobblestone generator to feed into my pulverizer just to feed a steady stream of cobble into a pulverizer to turn it into gravel. And then another pulverizer to turn that gravel into sand. And because uh, I don't really have a good <laughs> income of sand, and I need lots of glass. I love glass <laughs> glass but that's it. Uh, so that would be really cool to set something like that up um, and I think I can do it 
uh, because the pulverizer, when it pulverizes uh, gravel, it also produces sand. So we could get like a pulverizer uh, with a drawer on top that puts that sand and then have another pulverizer that feeds into that. Just collect a bunch of sand and then I can just bring it over and cook it up and have tons of stuff. Um, also, I would definitely, definitely want to get that going. So, um, in between episodes, I will try to get everything ready. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.